In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of the elements here in BrO4 minus, the perbromate ion. And we'll use these general rules here to help us find the oxidation numbers. So here's our perbromate ion, and the red, those are the oxygens. We have one, two, three, four, and that dark red, that's the bromine. So looking down our rules here, we can see oxygen, that's a minus two. So it always has an oxidation number of minus two, except with a few exceptions. So bromine, that's in group 17, and normally that is a negative one oxidation number, but when it's bonded to oxygen, we can't use this rule here. So we're gonna have to figure out the oxidation number on the bromine based on these numbers here and the charge. We can see that in an ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. That's that minus one. So think of it this way. We have two, four, six, eight, minus eight, those are the oxidation numbers on the oxygen. When we add those up, plus some number is going to equal this charge, this minus one here. Minus eight and a positive seven, that would end up with minus one. So this seven is the oxidation number on the central bromine. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the ones that we knew. And then to find the bromine, because it doesn't follow the rule for group 17, we used the oxidation numbers on the one we knew and the charge on the ion to get the oxidation number on the bromine. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for BrO4 minus the perbromate ion. Thanks for watching.